Hey guys, so I just wanted to make a quick video about my top recommendations for some YouTube channels and some websites and yeah, hopefully find them useful. So let's just dive into it. Also gonna split this video up into two sections. The first one being YouTube channels and the second one being a website recommendations. Timestamps below. Starting out, I wanna go over Matt Picardle's channel. Uh, he's probably gonna be your number one search option when you search up structural engineering on YouTube. He definitely goes over what to expect once you enter the industry and what the job looks like. Check out his videos because I also get a bunch of resources from him. Second one, being the efficient engineer. They don't have that many videos, but it's definitely quality. It's very informative. And even though I don't have to take those classes anymore, I still watch them just because they're entertaining and it's just educational at the same time. Uh, you don't see that often. Uh, next, the Balkan Architect. This guy I found the past year when I was uh, using Revit almost on, like on a daily basis. <laughs> Although he's an architect, uh, a lot of the stuff is just learning how to navigate through Revit, learning to use some of the features. You'll probably be using Revit if you're doing structural engineering. All right, next up, uh, Nazer Yaro PE slash PhD. He's a teacher. Uh, at some university and he knows the stuff. He touches on a bunch of different courses and materials that relate to just civil engineering, structural engineering. He covers like course materials, practice problems, even software. Uh, so definitely hit him up. He's definitely a small channel, but it's really informative and you know he knows his stuff. He also is very fit. I don't know why he has like personal videos of himself working out, but that's awesome. Last but not least, engineer or en genie ear her channel is around helping people passing the fe exam she interviews people who've just taken it or are planning on taking it she also goes over practice problems so definitely hit her up she seems really nice so uh definitely give her a follow and watch some videos if you plan on taking the fe soon so that leads us into our website recommendations my first one is going to be chegg and i know some people have mixed feelings about it just because i know people use it to cheat to be honest but one of the features that I love using is the textbook solutions. Unlike the textbook solutions, and they have solutions, but they're like in the back and they're just, they just give you the answer. Like they don't give you step by step or where they got like a number from. Well, Chegg does. People do abuse it, but I mean, that's just like anything. I would recommend it though. It's very helpful. It is a subscription plan. Uh, everything else is free though that I'm gonna recommend. That's the only one you have to pay for. The next one is engineer for free. Ton of videos on courses and it works through example problems. Yeah, I use this for structural analysis, but it covers other topics as well that relate to civil. Uh, I, I just stumbled upon this website and it has everything perfectly laid out. So just go video by video and you'd be good. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see, next up we have AK Lectures. It helped me taking uh, like physics or just general stuff before I started like taking on more engineering classes. It covers classical physics take it seriously, learn the fundamentals. And last but not least, the FE Handbook. This book is gonna be your savior during exams. It holds all the equation and charts you need to reference for homework and exams. You can get the free PDF on their website. Yeah, so you're probably gonna see it if you're in the US. Uh, but yeah, that pretty much wraps up all the recommendations I have for you right now. Uh, these aren't all the ones I've used, but these are the ones that I felt like are really important for someone starting out. Yeah, so if you have any recommendations, please send them my way and yeah uh i hope it was helpful i'll see you in the next one bye